So we're here in the JCR garage with our four-door JL, which is our Bigfoot reconnaissance vehicle. And this thing works awesome. We can hunt Bigfoot almost anywhere in the country, but the problem is with these tiny little windows, it's so hard to like get out and sight one or swing your terrain gun out of the window. It just doesn't work. So we have a solution. I'll be, I'll be right back. Ha ha! Aluminum JL half doors. I'm going to show you how to install these things and you can hunt Bigfoot with the best of them. Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to have to do is remove the factory doors and Jeep was nice enough to let us know what size nut is on the bottom of this hinge, T50. So I'm going to grab my T50 Torx head here and remove the upper and lower nut on the factory door hinges. The next step is going to be to remove this door stop here and the wiring. So we're going to grab this kick panel plastic, just pulls kind of this way like that. And you'll see an electrical connector here. There's a red little pin there that has to go up, press that up. And then this white lever pulls up and then the plug pulls down just like that. Then we're going to, have to close this door just a little bit to get this webbing over the hook just like that, so that'll be loose. Then we're gonna take a T40 Torx bit and remove this little door catch here. Just pull that Torx bolt out of there. Once you get that pulled, the door is ready to remove. So something I should have mentioned before I told you to remove the wiring harness is you might wanna lower the window first because it's way easier to work with this door with the window removed. So do that before you unhook the wiring. At any rate, once everything is unhooked, grab the door. I usually put one hand inside the uh, window frame here and one on the bottom, and then kind of twist as I pull up. Put this bad boy aside. All right, now we're gonna remove the back doors. We're gonna do the same two T50 bolts on the outside of the hinge. We're gonna come here to the B pillar, and this plastic part pulls out from the bottom and then out to get the clips out of the way and then down, just like that. I'll pull this kind of up out of the way so you can see here. There is a clip for the wiring, no safety clip. Just go ahead and push that gray button down, pull straight down. Same deal, pull the door a little bit closed so you can pull the webbing up off from there. We can replace this plastic piece and then we're gonna use that same T40 to remove this inner door stop. Once everything is loose, same as before, hand here, hand down here, and then kind of light twisting as you pick it up, put it to the side. So the doors come from JCR Off-Road, all disassembled, and I'm gonna show you how to install them now. Oh, looks like we have a product sponsor for this video. That's exciting, right? Uh, this video is sponsored by Husky Tools because I'm a Husky boy. Wait, <laughs> that seems suspicious, and we paid full price for the, Cameron! God, come on. The fat jokes just never end. At any rate, here's how you install these doors. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab the hinges here and grab the door, and then we're gonna give you some stainless steel button heads. They're 5 16 inch button heads. You're gonna get four of those per door, plus four 5 16 flange nuts per door. And we're not really sure exactly where these, one, two, three, four, exactly where these hinges go right now, but we're just gonna kind of loosely install them so we can adjust them later. And I'm gonna try to do this with two hands when I could actually use three. So you're gonna put the hinge through the door just like that with a 5 16 inch flange nut on the back. Then another button head bolt here with a 5 16 inch flange nut on the back. And you can't really tighten these a lot right now, but just tighten them enough so that they don't slide around and scratch all the powder coat up. I had to reposition myself a little bit here. All right, that'll work. Like I said, you don't want to tighten these up super tight. Just get them tight enough now so they don't move around. Uh, 3 16 hex wrench is what you're going to want to use for those. And then they just won't move for now so they don't scratch the powder coat, like I said before. 
Now we're going to install this latch here, and these are for a different application, so they're stamped left and right, but we can't really use that. What you need to look for is the opening is going to go forward on all the doors, so on the uh, driver front door, um, this is what it's going to look like with the opening forward, just like that, towards the front of the Jeep. And then this lever here is going to be on the bottom, on the front doors, and on the top, on the back doors. So, so here we're going to have that opening forward and then the lever on the bottom. There's an aluminum bracket here that goes on top. And then we're going to give you some of these little self-threading screws. And the first time you install these latches, they are not going to have threads in them. So you may have to put a little pressure downward with your socket wrench while you're turning just to cut threads. But these are pretty soft aluminum, so they should cut without a problem. And you're going to do that with an 8 millimeter socket. And you want those to be snug, but not too tight. You don't want to strip any of that out. So just like I said, on the front doors, this little lever is going to be down. On the back doors, it's going to be towards the up, towards the upper portion of the latch, rather. And the holes, the openings for the latch, is always going to face forward on all those doors. So on the latching portion for the door, you're going to have this little catch right here that pops open. That is going to face inward toward the Jeep, towards the inside of the Jeep. And this whole mechanism is going to go on the forward portion of this bracket, towards the front of the Jeep. We're going to provide some button head quarter inch bolts in this instance. So those just go through these two slots. And you're going to snug those up with a 532nd hex wrench. So we're just going to snug these up for now. We really don't know the exact location of this latch yet. We're going to, it just depends on your Jeep. So we're just going to snug it for now and then we can move it inwards and outwards once we get the door on the Jeep. So the next thing we're going to install is this rubber bumper bracket. So we're going to take it just like this and we give you these two rubber bumpers in the kit. And you got to press these little hats, I guess, through the hole. And I find the easiest way to do that is to twist them and press upwards as you do it. A little bit of WD-40 or some water would help in this situation, but you can do it without that. Once you get it kind of through the hole, you can just work a fingernail or a flat blade screwdriver or whatever you need around just to kind of pull it all the way up through that hole. The same thing on the other one. Another thing you can do, uh, but be careful that you don't actually stab yourself, is to use a small little flat blade and press that head into there and then use the flat blade to push through the uh, rest of it. But be sh like I said before, be sure you don't stab yourself with a flat blade screwdriver because that, you know, that would hurt. I don't want you to yell at me because of the choices I tell you to make. They're bad. <laughs> On the latch portion, this cable lug here is going to be sandwiched between the ball and the latch, kind of pointed at a 45 degree angle and tight so it can't swivel. On the paddle portion, we are going to take a little button head, put it through the lug of the cable, put that through the lever on the paddle up through the top, take this nylock here and put it on the bottom. On the front door, we are going to align this lug here pointed in the exact same direction that this lever is pointed. So this lever kind of points backwards a little bit. We're going to point the lug in the exact same direction as that. And then we are going to tighten this bolt all the way snug so it doesn't rotate. This is for the front door. So kind of hold it all together here and tighten this button head bolt with an eighth inch hex wrench. until everything is snug against that arm. So that's for the front door. Front door is this latch opening down on the forward side 
of this mount here and then the cable lugs squeeze tightly between their mounting points. Now on the rear door, the hinges assemble the same way, this assembles the same way except for the paddle lever is on top. On the front door the paddle lever is on the bottom and this latch is mounted so that the latch opening is on top as well. So it's just kind of upside down of the rear door. This lug on this cable right here should be mounted tightly underneath the ball here but pointing straight forward, kind of parallel to the ground. And then with that same eighth inch hex wrench, make sure that is tight so that doesn't move around. But the difference is on the paddle portion, this lug needs to swivel. So you want to tighten your nylock just enough so that this doesn't rattle around, but that it can still swivel back and forth. That is for the rear door. So that's it for assembly. Go ahead and repeat the assembly process on the rear door and then we'll get them installed and adjusted on the Jeep. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and hang this door on the factory hinges. And to do that, you may need to adjust these hinges that you snug down earlier. It may just fit, but that's the first step. Once we get that door hung, we're going to see how close we are to it actually closing. And what we can do is we can lift this up slightly if those hinges are loose and go ahead and close it and then kind of see kind of see where we're at. It looks like we have too much of a gap on the back and the front gap is too tight. So what we can do is loosen these hinges with it latched in the back. Then we should be able to slide this whole door backwards. We may have to grab it from the top to do this. Shimmy it backwards a little bit so we have pretty even gaps on the front and in the back. And then we can go ahead and since these are nylocks, we should be able to tighten these from the front. May have to grab one if it's super loose. But you can just grab it with your hands and just hold it against the aluminum. And snug those down. So that's the first adjustment back and forth here in the door. All right, so once we check for the alignment of the door in the door area itself, we can look and see if it's closing too deep in the door. And right now you can see, or maybe you can't from the angle that you're at right now, we are a little too deep in this door. So what we can do is we can take this latch here, loosen these up, and slide it out just a little bit so it latches sooner. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. Uh, it looks pretty flush, but we have a little bit of, of rattling there, and that is because of these bumpers right here. So now we're gonna take our 3 16 hex, and we are gonna move these bumpers towards the center of the Jeep a little bit. Like I'm We'll try that. Still a little bit of play. So we'll move them a little closer towards the center of the Jeep. And we'll just keep moving these inward until they touch. Right about there is good. Touch at the same time as the latch. If you run out of adjustment uh, moving these bumpers this way, it means your latch is probably too far that way. So you can move your latch slightly back and you'll kind of find a nice happy medium between the bumpers and the latch and their orientation compared to your Jeep striker pin. So once everything looks nice and even and level, we'll give the doors uh, another, another check here. Make sure that they close okay. Make sure that they close softly. Make sure that they 
slam closed, and once all that is done, we can go through and tighten all of those bolts that we left kind of snug before. Now, if you want to mount these doors a little more securely so someone can't easily walk off with them, we're going to give you some little nylock nuts here to go on our hinge pins. And those are going to tighten down with a half inch end wrench or a half inch socket. And they're nylocks, so you can just kind of take them to the point where the nylock grabs just so they don't rub against the factory hinge and cause a bunch of binding. All right, so if you have a four-door Jeep and you're installing our rear doors, just install and adjust them just like the front. Uh, this set I adjusted earlier, so it should fit just fine. Now I want to go over a couple little tips and tricks that might help you on the installation. On the front doors, remember that this cable, this little cable, as cable release here will be tight on the ball end and on the latch end. On the latch end, the cable should point in the exact same direction as this little paddle right here. That paddle sticks out. This should be tightened on that, point in the same direction, tightened down. And on the ball end, it's going to be pointing towards the latch, basically. So that's for the front door. For the rear door, this cable is going to be loose on the paddle end. Just tighten that nylock enough so that it doesn't rattle around, but that it's still loose. And it's going to be tight on the ball end. And the same kind of deal is going to be kind of pointing towards the latch there. If you're having any issues with the doors opening with the paddles, just check the alignment and the adjustment on that cable right there. If you're having any rattling of the doors once they're closed, go ahead and adjust those bumpers towards the center of the Jeep or your latch towards the outside of the Jeep. It's always going to be this balance between those two so that you get it to close softly, so you get it to close when you slam it and it doesn't rattle around going down the highway. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for ordering our half doors for your Jeep Wrangler JL. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about this product or any product that we sell, feel free to reach out to us at 269-353-1184 or email at tech at jcr.us. Now I have to go hunt the Bigfoot.